let's get into this topic on black women who lead and how we continue to rise amidst a culture of resistance. Let me explain what I mean by a culture of resistance. There are two components to this culture of resistance that black women have been forced to contend with and have ultimately been able to penetrate. There are stereotypes and levels of resistance within our community, as well as stereotypes and levels of resistance outside of our community. We got a double-edged sword that we're fighting against, not to mention the media propaganda and the fact that people are just not accustomed to seeing us in high level leadership roles. Resistance is defined as the refusal to accept or comply with something, the attempt to prevent something by action or argument. I want you to understand what resistance is. Let me say it again. Resistance is defined as the refusal to accept, the refusal to accept or comply with something. It's also defined as the attempt to prevent something by action or argument. This vast culture of resistance is so immense and so common, yet we rise as leaders, both inside and outside of our community anyway. In the words of the great Maya Angelou, <laughs> Angelou and still we rise. Now, let's talk about the internal resistance. Internally, we are the most preyed upon and unprotected people on the planet. That's a fact. Just look at the statistics. We are the nucleus of an abusive sexual subculture that has gone unaddressed in our culture for centuries. It's a sexual subculture that was born out of our treatment as slave women that has evolved and survived in our community ever since the abolition of slavery. We get abducted and in many cases, nobody even looks for us. We certainly don't reap the benefits of massive search efforts by law enforcement and community leaders. We get sexually abused and no one believes us. We have to manage relationships with members of our community who are abused and neglected, even though in many cases, we have been abused and neglected ourselves. Black women can't even go to the doctor and be taken seriously. Did you know that when most black women go to the doctor and complain of pain, it's dismissed as emotional? We are often left to defend ourselves, raise our children alone, and nurse the wounds of our men who are discounted, abused, and executed in public. We are motivators, we are fixers, we are lovers, we are fighters, we are counselors, we are organizers, we are healers, we are leaders. I could say more, but I think you get the point. Now, 